Hello everyone, welcome, 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 welcome to Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. In case you're wondering who's Chichi Beauty, I am Chichi Beauty. How are you all doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday afternoon, a wonderful morning, Monday morning that is, or a wonderful Sunday night. Today we are going to be talking about collagen again. And we're talking about collagen because it is the most um, sought after topic. So we're going to talk about ways to get your collagen in naturally definitely they are means of ways of boosting that collagen in the skin. So basically, we are going to go through the many different means and ways in which you can, you know, get that collagen going naturally, internally, that is. Today, we're going to deal with mostly internal okay so what is this a big collagen why collagen collagen everywhere you go these days people are talking about collagen why is that so because it is a, a protein and it is the most um abundant protein in the body now what does this collagen do for us why do we need to increase it why do we need to get more collagen in? What this collagen does is, is help the skin to stay young, firm, and basically plump looking. If you look at a kid, like a baby, and you know that baby, the cheeks is chubby, the skin is a fresh and just radiant looking, that is because the collagen production is working. Now, what happened as we get older, round about when you start to eat between the 30 and the 35, that is when the collagen production really starts to slow down. And what happened when the collagen slow down is that you start to see your skin getting wrinkles, crease and all kind of things going on with the skin so we cannot stop that because that is a part of the aging process however there are things that you can do to actually slow it down or to boot it up okay to hide what has been subtracted which age an easy way to boost the collagen production in your skin is by be mindful of what you eat and that is what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about the vitamins the minerals and all the good stuff and groups of stuff that you can take internally to boost the collagen production in the skin if this is your first time on sunday chit chat a warm welcome to you and sunday chit chat we basically talk about the topic and we interact with each other for about nowadays i'm going to say about an hour or so now we have to go and do some shout out and if you're on the chat and you are heathen to boost your collagen production feel free to comment. Also, if you're doing the regular collagen supplement and bone broth and all that good stuff, feel free to talk about it today. All right, so let's do some shout out. The first person on our talk today was Jason and Karen McDowell. How are you guys doing? I hope you are all doing great. We also have Elizabeth Lasosa. Hello, hello. And those are the three people on the chat as soon as I said it for out for the notification and i hope you guys got all the notification today now let's do the regular shout out and then we're gonna dive deep into all that is collagen now let me see lucy hello lucy santiago that is we have rita hi rita how are you i kind of miss you guys like you know feeling you seeing you guys on the chat um you're there but it's like you know disconnect like i'm not anyway we'll get to do some things on the community tab so that we can interact with each other a little more all right so we also have taryn g and inga k you guys i'm only saying your first name because you all know you are regular here and magdalene and welcome to sunday chit chat we also have Stella Natip, we have a new person, Priscilla Sivit. How are you? Good afternoon. We also have Sandra Ginger Rich. Hello, love your plum skin. Thank you for that. Vicky Kalat, 
Aki. Hello, Chichi. I love you. Kisses from Greece. Hello over there in beautiful Greece. Linda Jones, uh, Mina, uh, Beven, D E V E, and Stella Power. Hi, Stella. Karina, Lucky, K C E K. Um, hello, we have comfort. Smunch. Smunch. Um, how are you doing? Hello, everyone. And we have Stella Davis. Okay. I take vital protein collagen powder. So Stella take her collagen powder. We have Nassim. We have Jackie Mom and Two Fun World. How are you all doing? Now, guys, what we're going to talk about the vitamins to begin with. Okay. Now, vitamins are very important in boots in the collagen production. What are you going to do it internally or externally? Very, very important are the vitamins. And there are groups of vitamins that is more important than other. And the three main vitamins that is good that you all need to be, you know, in, you know, incorporated in your food, whatever it is, are the A, the B, the C and the E. Those vitamins are the vitamins that are geared towards boots in the collagen production in your body. Now we're going to talk about the first vitamin. So we'll do it, um, you know, A, B, C, D. So we're going to talk about vitamin A. Now, what is this vitamin A? Now, where do we get it? What does it do? Vitamin A have to renew the skin. By renewing the skin, it means that it is basically repair in the skin. And how do you identify foods that have a vitamin A. It's pretty easy to identify foods with vitamin A. You got to put it in colors and a color that sure to have vitamin A is anything that is orange. So that's an easy way to know if you're getting your vitamin A. Foods that are orange in color always contains an abundant amount of vitamin A. Now, what food is orange? Plenty. You have like sweet potato. You have like carrots. Um, you have like, wait a minute. It's like, I'm like, oh, what food contains orange color? What else have um, orange? Pumpkin. Pumpkin have orange. We have like squash and all of that family. If you have an orange food, please list it. Cause right now it's like I'm getting a brain, brain freeze with the foods with the orange. But because I use a lot of carrots, that was the first thing on my mouth. What else is orange on the plate? You also have orange um, peppers, like you know, orange pepper, sweet pepper, that is. And I'm thinking what else is orange out there? Definitely um, any form of a root or vegetable that is orange, help me along. Papaya, my favorite, have orange also. Thank you for that. And anybody else have another orange fruit? And we're just doing this to make things easy. Any Thing, any fruits and vegetable with orange, well, mostly vegetable with orange color contains vitamin A. And vitamin A is really an amazing vitamin for boots in the collagen production in the skin. We also definitely use a lot of vitamin A topically because it's how to boost the collagen and to renew the skin. So definitely a must with your vitamin. All right, so vitamin A, main, main, main. So eat up your carrots, eat up your squash, eat up your fruits that are orange in color, not the peel we're talking about, the flesh, such as the papaya. And also definitely, guys, make sure to drink up your juice. Some carrot juice is good for you, all right? Anybody else with another orange color foods or vegetable? I um, seem like I'm stuck with um, carrots and pumpkin and um, squash is good. All right, guys. So we are moving on to the next vitamin. However, I'm going to come back later to the vitamin A because some of you are going to give me some more, you know, orange color fruit. So we're going on to the next vitamins and that is a vitamin. Should I skip vitamin B and go to C? I think I'll skip vitamin B and then I'll come back to it because that, all right, let's go to the B vitamins. Now, what are the B vitamins? The B vitamins tend to be the 
I'm not going to say boring food, but in terms of color, they're always, in most cases, they are brown. So how do you know what is brown? Brown is mostly like the, 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 the nuts, like walnut, almond, um, um, pecan nuts, all of those contains the B vitamins. So you definitely know you got to eat up your nuts in order to it boosts the collagen. We all know, also know that you have to be mindful of the amount, not because it's good for you. You got to be very particular with the amount of nuts you eat. So be just eat a portion size and make sure to get some of those B vitamins in your system. If you have any other B vitamins that is good, please feel free free to comment on that. I hate to use note, guys. I'm trying to use note and you guys could see I'm not flowing as I normally flow once I'm using the notes. Anyway, let's let's move on. I could just speak without the vitamins, without the notes. All right. So someone was saying in Victor's creation, eat some Irish sea moss. And that is actually a great um do you call it food? Do you call sea moss food? Anyway, Irish sea moss is actually a great alternative to bone broth. And I did want to talk about it because I didn't want to talk about bone, bone broth on the top of the hour. But if you're out there and you are vegan and you're looking for a good substitute for the bone broth, definitely do the Irish, um, Irish sea moss. It definitely will help to boost the collagen production in the skin. So we definitely, we are going to talk about that later on when we get into the bone broth. All right, so we have um, um, Maham. What can I apply on the face for collagen production? Anything with vitamin A is good, such as rose oil. Cacao oil also have strong vitamin A properties that will help to boost the collagen production. Carrot seed butter, carrot seed oil is good for your skin. All right. Okay. Rita, um, Ruta Barca, um, Ruta Barca, <laughs> Rita, you know, I don't know what that is. Tell me what that is. Anybody know what the Ruta Barca, and am I pronouncing it right? Ruta Barkers. What is that? All right. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hello. I'm glad to see you posting. I plan to eat food and get some serum, cream, and vitamin, as well as take any advice you give. Thank you always. Happy Sunday. And thank you so much for that. Guys, if you have, you know, vitamins, minerals, and whatever it is you take and whatever you're doing to boost the collagen production in your skin, food you can eat, feel free to comment on the topic. Now, guys, we want to talk about antioxidant. And what is antioxidant? Antioxidant are really vitamins and vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin E, and even vitamin D. These are the antioxidants that help to boost the collagen production in the skin. So whenever we talk about antioxidant, we're really talking about the vitamins, okay? Vitamins fall under antioxidant. Now, what other vitamins that is good the vitamins are the c vitamins now when we talk about c vitamins sometimes i normally do it too i just tend to go to the citrus fruit like the oranges and the grapefruit and the lemon but guys there are so many other vegetables out there that contain and fruits that contain even more vitamin c than these that I'm um, for one that normally talk about when it comes on to the kiwi. And if you out there and you eat kiwi, raise your hand. Nowadays, I try to eat as much kiwi as I can because it contain more. And I think I mentioned this on my channel before. It contain more vitamin C than oranges. OK, so definitely kiwi is a must. But there's a big surprise. And most of you might not be aware that um pepper like the red peppers contain more vitamin c than oranges and we also have strawberries that contain more vitamin c than orange so you can eat your orange yes but definitely get yourself 
peppers make sure to incorporate the peppers in your cooking and eat it raw you get more benefit when you eat it raw so put it in your salad and if you can get strawberries and kiwi those are fruit that you know especially for those of you who sometimes you have the stomach irritation if you have too much of the citric acid try to get the pepper and try to get like the the strawberry and even the kiwi in your diet put it in your smoothies okay just eat up as much as you can. I know some of you on the chat do not have the access to the strawberries and the kiwis. So you definitely have to stick with the citrus fruit. But if you have the access to those two, which have more vitamin C than oranges, than the citrus fruit, definitely give it a go. What other comment do you guys have? What is it that you guys do for your vitamin C? If you have something other than citrus fruit, if you know of another fruits or vegetable that contains a lot of vitamin C, feel free to comment. All right, so we have um so we have Indictus creation, distilled water must for detox detox toxin and a lot of people um normally go for distilled water for detox but personally for me if you it depending on where you live like you know what comes in your tap water you could boil your water but you need to boil your water for at least 20 minutes a lot of people don't know that they have to boil it for at least the 20 minutes to get rid of all of that chemical that is found in the water but if you don't have distilled water not to worry boil some water for 20 minutes and it's just as brand new it's just as good all right so definitely do that if you have to use you know the, the distilled water now rose gold um um roses gold i use sea moss too she also used the sea moss and um we also have um bretha gonzalez um hello how are you doing thank you for that and we also have um my chat has like totally like stop guys so if you're commenting and um i'm not responding to it that because my chat is not moving as it should stella um how are you love your show my face is flawless since i start your recipe all right guys so since um my chat has slowed down tremendously um okay now it's moving ITG, my daughter birthday and she's watching can you say happy birthday um elaine pronounce elaine i think i get it right if i get it right let me know L A Y N E. So happy birthday, Elaine. I hope you're having a great day so far. And I hope that this birthday will bring you lots of love and lots of happiness. And I hope that whatever you plan for the future will materialize. And I hope you take today as the beginning of a new day, a new start to whatever you have going on and all your plans and dream for your sweet little life. Happy birthday to you, Elaine. Pronounce, spell, A, I miss it. I am totally not seeing it anymore. Okay, spell A-L-A-I-N-E. Now guys, if you are just joining, welcome. I'm not sure if you guys get the notification, but we're moving on and we're talking about boots and collagen naturally and naturally in the form of mostly what you eat. We will talk a little bit about topically, but now we're talking about naturally the things you can eat to boost the collagen production in your skin. We put it in groups and we are mostly grouping it by the different kinds of vitamins okay so we are moving on and we're talking about the vitamin c now we you know we sidetrack we talk about bone broth and we talk a little bit about um irish moss especially irish moss especially for my vegan subscribers now guys we are moving on to fruits that purple fruits and vegetables there's many of you out there that are not aware that any form of a purple vegetables contain vitamin A. So I'm switching back a little bit to the vitamin A. If you have been watching my show, you notice that nowadays I talk a lot about 
purple, purple, purple. And not because my hair is purple, not because I'm so into purple these days, but because I recently discovered that purple fruits and vegetables, not, and also purple clay is good for your skin externally and internally. Now the purple color, fruits and vegetables get their purple color, and I normally write this down because I always pronounce it wrong, is anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is what gives the vegetables a purple color, like the blueberry, you have purple cabbage, you have purple asparagus, you have purple um, celery, you also have um, purple, almost every everything have a little purple going on with it. Cabbage, I just mentioned cabbage. What else is purple that we eat? Um, beetroot, beetroot fall in the purple family. And we also have, um, mm, what else is purple? You have purple carrots also. I'm not sure if purple carrot. oh well, according to what I was researching recently, the um, Asian days, carrot actually was purple before it get the um orange color so carrots start out purple don't know how true all these researches are but you still do have purple carrots and you have orange looking carrots so anything purple is good i made a facial mask post it on the channel this week using cabbage which is really good for your skin purple cabbage would even be better. So if you have the purple cabbage, definitely use it. Another fruit, another um, root vegetable that we don't talk much about, which is really good, is turnip. If you are on the chat and you know what turnip is, feel free to comment. The top is white, the bottom is purple. Another awesome root vegetable that you can use to help to boost the collagen production in the skin. Now, when it comes on to blueberries, guys, if you are a smoothie person, and not only that, if you have blueberries around, you already know that it do so much for the body on a whole, internally, and even if you want to use it to make a facial mask, it's really, really, really good. What I do, I get the blueberries when they are in abundance, and I freeze them, and whenever I feel like, sometimes I just take a handful of the blueberries, and I just you know, just pop them in my mouth like that frozen because I want to get all that benefit going on inside and not all the time I have to go and make like a smoothie. I don't like my blueberries like in muffin and these things. No, but I don't mind having it in a smoothie. And most of all, I enjoy just eating them frozen like that. Get blueberries or you know, any purple vegetable in your diet. And not only that, when you have the purple, let's say to your salad, it actually give it a nice, pretty color. So that's, you know, double whammy from anything purple. Oh, eggplant. I totally forget that. Eggplant also is amazing. Thank you for that. And grapes. <laughs> See why I need you guys around? All of these I'm, I'm forgetting. And I did mention the beet. Guys, beetroot is really good for you. When I was growing up, they used to make the beetroot on a Sunday. They would grate it and they would mix it with a carrot and make a juice. Nowadays, I like to just boil that beetroot and I just eat it like that. And I have an amazing, amazing recipe that I use um, making a beetroot salad. Really good, guys. You guys probably need to see me cook this one day. We are getting around to that where maybe I'll start something, you know, like a live cooking show or something like that for you. Roddy Mormon, I buy a package of purple, white, orange, yellow carrot and make carrot oil with other ingredient and that is actually a wonderful um idea really really great oh and they do have some potatoes that are purple also but you also know that the potato contain a lot of starch so even though it have the purple color which is good for you you still have to be mindful of how much you eat anything at all you're gonna eat even if it's good for you you got to do it in a portion size. Now, if you're just joining in, we're talking about how to boost the collagen production naturally. And by naturally, we mean we are talking mostly about what we, we can eat 
food groups that we can eat to help to boost the collagen production internally. And later on, we're going to talk about boots in the collagen production as externally by doing our facial mask and facial serums and such like. Now, guys, any of you on the chat know of a purple sweet potato? Maybe you don't, but I, when I was growing up, we do have purple sweet potato and sweet potato that was days most, well, I live in New York, so I cannot generalize, but there's a lot of restaurants out there now that are turning to sweet potato because, you know, it's healthier than the Irish potato. So if you have a purple potato, definitely get it on your plate. And also if you want to eat vitamin A, you go with the sweet potato that is orange. Okay. But if you have access to purple pot potato, please comment and let me know anyone out there who actually know the purple potato. Um, I was thinking about that. Is it a yam? No, it's actually, well, there's a little confusion depending on where you live when it comes on to potato and yam, okay? Now, where I live in America, they tend to call potato, sweet potato that is, yam. I don't know if it's the same thing, but it looked like the same thing to me, and they're saying that it is yam, but for me, is a farm of a potato and that is the same potato that you would find in the restaurant however in the caribbean where i am from the potato is basically the same however it's a little bit more rough and we have a wider variety of color of the potato and those are all natural organic potatoes so i'm thinking that this potato here that they call yam is from the same potato family but it's just like an enhanced potato like oh you know they have enhanced watermelon with no seeds and stuff like that if i'm wrong guys please correct me and don't um, don't move away from the chat today because we're talking about food it's very very important okay all right so back to talking about boots and the collagen production in the skin i know sometimes when i do topic like these a lot of people don't want to hear that they just want to hear get rid of the spots from my skin and all of that but sometimes it's really good to just take a look at what you're eating it's good to know like the groups like i'm sure a lot of you might be learning you know even just with talking about the different different colors of the fruits and vegetables and what they contain. I think these topics are really good sometimes. So that's what we're talking about today. Boots and collagen production in the skin and fruits and vegetables that is good for that, more so that you need to have on your plate. All right, Maria, I used to drink bone broth, okay? And um, comforts, hmm? Dorothy, yes, that is that that is so okay. Good. All right. So, guys, my chat is moving slow. Don't be afraid to comment if you have something you want to say. If you are doing anything to boost your collagen, whether you are taking um tablets, whether you are doing the collagen powder, whether you are making facial masks with vitamins and, and minerals that will tighten and firm the skin and boost the collagen. Feel free to comment and let us know what you are doing. Now, guys, we are going to talk about some other vegetables that is good for you, good for boots and collagen that we tend to overlook and we really and truly need to use them in our food. And these are the, you know, ones that give us, you know, the little breathy thing going on. We're talking about vegetables such as onions, garlic, and even celery, um, scallion, if you're out there and you use scallion. All of these with this strong smell, strong fragrance that whenever we eat them, nobody wants to be around us is really amazing for boots and collagen because they contain the big sulfur. And of late, I'm throwing sulfur around on this channel a lot because 
people tend to write in that they have like eczema and psoriasis and sulfur is one such ingredient that will help with these skin issues. Not strain, guys. I just want to talk about sulfur. So when I make an uh, uh, eczema remedy using onions, don't think that is it's a crazy idea. There's always something behind the madness because onions contains a lot of sulfur and the sulfur is needed to have to, to when it comes on to like blood clapping. Oh my goodness. I probably shouldn't say that because when you use these words nowadays, YouTube tend to get, think you're talking medical topics and all of that. But guys, you know what I'm saying? The sulfur is really, really good for your body. And not only that, it need to work with the protein to have to boost the collagen production in your skin. So garlic is good. Sul um, onions is good. What else is out there that is? Um, shallot is good. All scallion, all of that from that family, the root family the strong you know what we use to spice up our food that give us bad breath is what is good and they also have a lot a lot a lot of other medical minor medical condition situation that we have going on these also help so definitely don't cook and not have some onions in it or some shallot or if you like like red they say red, I'm going to say purple onions. There you go again. And you can tolerate it to eat it raw. Go ahead and eat some. I like to eat it raw on my salad, even though when I'm done, most time, nobody wants to be around me, but I like to eat me some raw onions. So if you can do it salad or just cook with it or even grill it, it's really, really good for you, not only for boots and the collagen, but also for, uh, you know, minus, you know, things that we people tend to go through. All right, Dorothy, ginger is one of the root of veggie. And I forget that too. Ginger is actually good, good for your body. Drink it up. It's also going to help with circulation. So definitely a go. All right. Um, um, YouTube's I start to say shallot too. Hello, Don. Make me feel like I'm in class. I know the answer, but he's too shy to speak up. <laughs> Don't look at it like that, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes the teaching, the teaching. But we, it, it's, I, I actually like to share this spot. It might not be an ideal Sunday show topic, you know, but we got to get it out there, you know, especially for my faithful, you know, all of you guys who really follow. I think, you know, these little, you know, topics. So when I come and I make a video, you could actually just look and say, oh, she's using that because of that, because of that, because of that. And that's how I make my things. I just always need to know why I'm using it. The ingredient, I need to know. I'm not going to go and just take an onion and they said, okay, they're saying that onion is good for let's say eczema on and i'm just gonna say all right i'm gonna make something with onion because it's good for eczema no 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 no. that's not gonna come from me i need to know why i'm using it so i'm gonna go research and i'm gonna read here read here read here until i come to my own conclusion that yeah it's it is good then i'm gonna make it and then i'm gonna try it or give it to somebody or something i need to satisfy myself because i ask a lot of questions and i always ask why and I'm still like that, still asking why, 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 why? So that's really what I'm doing today, telling you why and how and what you can use. Now, guys, if you out there and you smoke, it could age you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You know, you live your life to suit yourself. But smoking is one thing that helps to slow the collagen production down. So you definitely need to ease up on the smoking if you smoke a lot. I just need to say that. And I did have that to talk about because you have some little things that you need to like stop doing. You need to sleep. You need to drink a lot of water, you know, stuff like that. It might seem like, oh, you're trying to get us healthy. Healthy means also that your skin is going to look amazing 
amazing. What you eat is actually what comes out on the skin. If you eat like what we call a lot of junk, I'm not saying not to eat junk because everybody need a little junk in their system sometimes, especially ladies, when you know you're going through that time of the month and all of that, some people pick out. I tend to know when this is coming on because I want this, I want that. So a little bit like you treat yourself sometime, but you cannot keep doing it like just keep going on with the bad food. Now for years and years, I used to like really eat when I said healthy, healthy. And when I go to the grocery to do my grocery shopping, which you guys will see on my vlog channel, I was so much into eating healthy that even when I'm not eating as healthy as I should, I still go to the grocery and my grocery is going to be all healthy stuff. Sometimes I get home and I'm like, oh my God, I could taste something sweet. Nothing. Because I had actually break myself into just shopping, you know, for the healthy stuff. But definitely when you go shopping, throw a bag of chips in there, not a big old one and you're going to go and sit and eat it off in one go, but throw a bag of chip, throw one cookie or so, and you pinch on that for the entire week. So you feel balanced, but cut out of the heavy eating up the junk. And when it comes on to the starch in the food, you need starch in your diet for, for the energy, but you're not going to overdo the starch. Okay. If you understand what I'm saying, don't eat a big bowl of mashed potato. Guys, I love me some mashed potato. <laughs> like I so love mashed potato. And I like my own mashed potato. I'm selfish like that because I make a really good... We're talking about food, guys. It's okay. It's okay. It's collagen boots in. And we could do the sweet potato. I also have a really wonderful recipe that I use, you know, the sweet potato to make. But when I make my mashed potato... I like to put like celery and I like to put like um, um, what they call leek and all these things. I like saute all of these, cut them fine, saute them, and then I just. I just